we got to talk about Dustin Poirier. Look like he got some gangster in him. He's like, look now, you want me to have a five round fight and pay me like, like it's a three round fight? No, I don't think so. Hey, what's going on, fight fans? Hey, this is Coach Steve, the Wild Man, coming at you again with another episode of Coach D Media. Now, you know how I do with Coach D Media. I talk about all things combat sports related from the highs to the lows. All right, let's go ahead and get back into it. Man, guess what? We got to talk about Dustin Poirier. Look like he got some gangster in him. He's like, look now. You want me to have a five round fight and pay me like like it's a three round fight? No, I don't think so. So what did he do? He gave the UFC the okie doke. He says, "Look, I don't think this fight's gonna happen. All right? Looks like it's not gonna go the way I'm thinking. You know, so we gonna go ahead and go ahead and part ways, right?" He posted that out. Within the press conference, Dana White is getting ready to have. They was asking him why did Dustin Poirier's fight get canceled. Dana Wright had a fit. Next thing you know, Dustin Poirier goes back on and says, hey, it was my bad. I made a mistake. The fight's on. So, looks like Dustin Poirier kind of held out to make a little bit more money, which I can't get mad at him because, hey, this is the fight game, right? It's all about making the right deals at the right time. So, he went ahead and threw a little monkey wrench into the game so he can get a couple extra dollars. Right, make us make it so bad. If why why would you give him a five five round fight? It's not a title shot. He's a co-main, right? So they're gonna go ahead and squeeze him for all he's worth without paying him any extra money. He said, "Nah, I got something for that." So he went and got him, you know, good fella style. It was like, "I don't care what you got going on, pay me," and that's what happened. He got paid. So, of course, the reporters, you know, went in on it and Dana White had a fit, man. He said, look, man, we trying to solve this stuff. Here you are coming at, the, at me with these questions. And he went off. But it was Dustin Poirier who put it out there first. So why is he getting mad? It's the game, man. Hey, Dustin Poirier played him. You can't get mad at that. Look at how, Can you imagine how many times Dana White done played these fighters in his long years of doing this? About time a fighter got over, right? First, we thought it was Francis Nagano. He said, hey, ain't nobody else doing it, right? Dustin Poirier got a little, got a little game of, for him, too. So, it is what it is, fight fans. Hey, shit happens. Shit happens. But it's a good one because we need something to laugh at, right? We need something to laugh at. This, this, this stuff has been stressful. Figured out these fight cards, trying to see out who's going to do what kind of out there who don't know what we don't know who's gonna be fighting next it's it's chaos so we got a little bit of fun happening with dustin poirier and dana white the fight's back on that's all we care about if he got paid a couple of x dollars in the process good for him it is what it is right this was quick and to the point i wanted to get it out there because i thought it was kind of daggone funny that this went down like it went down and dustin poirier he got he got a little gangster in him Right, I didn't, I didn't know everybody was calling him an asshole and shit. But hey, bottom line, he got paid. That's what they're saying on social media, right? We'll see the bottom line as it comes to it. Now, don't get me wrong, right? They're gonna be some payback for this. You know, Danny White ain't gonna ain't gonna sit on this forever. Sooner or later, it's gonna come full circle, and Dana White gonna go ahead and say, "Look, you thought you was doing something funny, coming at me with that with that with that slick shit." Right, but I'm gonna get you back. I'm gonna get you back. Cause sooner or later, Dustin Poirier gonna want something, and then it's gonna be on and popping. Cause you know, Dana White hold the grudge with the best of them. You talking about somebody petty? Dagon Dana White is petty. He's petty as hell. So he ain't gonna take this line down. But he got to get this car done. There ain't but ain't but a couple of stars on there. So you got to keep him on there. Cause he's he's a big deal. He's a big deal. So you got to keep him on there, right? Because Sean O'Malley ain't going to sell shit. So it's going to come down on Dustin Poirier. And that's how it's going to go. 
that's how it's going to go but like i said i wasn't gonna make this a long one because uh that crap was daggone funny i had to get off my chest i was go should i do a podcast you know what f it let's go ahead and do it the buzz seems like to be pretty daggone good so uh let's go ahead and do it but yeah Two ninety nine is going on. Dustin Poirier and Saint Denis. If I'm saying his name right, co-main event. Looks like the fight's gonna happen. Kudos for them for making it work because hey, somebody gotta do it. It is what it is. All right, that's all I got. Hey, this is Coach D doing what I'm doing, calling it like I see it, talking my share of shit. To hear from me again. Peace out.